Are you in grade 11 math? Watch this before your final exam. It says simplify the function f of x equals this and state the restrictions. Now here is the answer, but let me show you how. In order to simplify this, we need to put both terms with a common denominator. Multiply the denominator of one times the other, x minus two multiplied by x plus five, just like this that becomes x minus 2. And we can do that because we're multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by the same thing, which is the same thing as multiplying by 1. And then we'll do the same thing for the other one. So it's x plus 2 times x plus 1 divided by x minus 2 x plus 1. We're left with x plus 5 x minus 2 plus x plus 2 x plus 1 and this is all one term now and the common denominator is x plus 1 times x minus 2. To simplify this we actually need to expand these quadratics so we're going to use FOIL first outer inner last so we're going to get x squared plus 5x minus 2x minus 10 so this will be the first part and the second part will be x squared plus 2x plus x plus 2, just like that. This is all again under x plus 1 over x minus 2. We're not going to expand the denominator because we don't have to, and I'll show you later why. But here we see that we can collect like terms. So we've got 2x squared, so we can get 2x squared like this. We can get 5 minus 2 plus 2 plus 1, so we get 6x, just like that. And we get minus 10 plus 2, that makes minus 8, all just like this. Now, can we simplify this? We can take 2 out, so we're left with 2 times x squared plus 3x minus 4. And here it's x plus 1 x minus 2. And can we factor this quadratic? We can if we do like this, x minus 1 times x plus 4, all over x plus 1 x minus 2. Now here's our answer, but the restriction is that x cannot be minus 1, nor can it be 2. Otherwise, you'd be dividing by 0, and that will make a vertical asymptote and it's not defined at these points and you have to state it because the question says to state the restrictions follow our channel and like this video and leave your comment if you have a math question i'll respond